What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X and as a YouTube content creator who uses Final Cut Pro as my main editing tool, one of the biggest frustrations is getting all of my videos and photos off of my Android devices onto my MacBook for device reviews. Normally you would use a free tool like Android File Transfer and as long as I'm using a Samsung device, that generally works okay. But as soon as I use something like a Pixel uh, or even this LG G7, when I plug it in, nothing happens so i'll even try to launch i'll give it access to the computer with usb debugging turned on and we'll try to launch android file transfer it tells me that no android device is found and this just becomes a huge headache you have to find other software uh, in order to get your files off of this and onto the computer big shout outs to wondershare for sponsoring this video in this video i'm going to show you guys the easiest method for transferring your files from android to your macbook So in order for the Dr. Phone transfer tool to work, we are going to need to enable USB debugging. And the way you would do that is head into your settings, go down to about phone, go to your software information, then click on your build number seven times. Once you do that, that unlocks your developer options. From there, you can jump into your developer options and scroll down to where it says USB debugging. Go ahead and turn that on. Once developer options is enabled on the phone, go ahead and plug it into your MacBook. And if it asks for permissions, go ahead and allow permission. All right, so this is the Dr. Phone tool. It actually has more options than just transferring files from your phone to your MacBook. That's what I normally use this for, but you have other options like recover. You can actually recover data from your phone. So if you accidentally I deleted some data, you're able to recover the data. You can switch data from one device to another. And then they have a backup and restore option. Normally we'd use a root app like Titanium Backup, but you can actually back up your entire phone with all your apps and even your app data, save game files and things like that. You can back that up to your computer that way you've always got a fresh copy that you can restore at any time. When you're getting ready to sell your phone, you can use the erase option to erase everything permanently from your device and make it fresh and clean. They even have an option that's more experimental. It doesn't work for every phone, but for some phones, you can actually unlock a phone if you forgot your pin pattern uh, or if you can't get past the lock screen. What we're here mainly for today is the transfer option. So I'll go ahead and launch the transfer option. And you can see it's already communicating with the device and connecting it to the MacBook. I would normally be transferring videos and photos. And as you can see here, it grabs automatically all of my photos on the phone here. It makes it super, super easy to transfer these. If I go into my videos here, you can see I've got videos. So we'll go ahead and transfer these files. And just like that, it is exported and I now have an MP4 file that I can use to edit within Final Cut Pro. And we'll go ahead and export a few photos just so you can see how easily that is done. It's gonna export it to that same folder that we just created. And just like that, now I've got my photos that I can use within Final Cut Pro on the MacBook. So as you guys can see, Dr. Phone is the easiest way to transfer files such as photos and videos or any other type of files uh, from your Android to your MacBook. Finally, we have an application that makes things super easy when it comes to file transfers. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I will see you in the next one.